Today's the day that you guys have been waiting for. If you're an OG Snow Squad, pretty sure you can still remember that we did the very first awards night last year. And for this year, guys, we're gonna pick some of the best units yet again in game in different categories, namely the best four star unit, the best semi AoE unit, best circle AoE unit, best full AoE unit, best heal unit, best flex unit, best clown unit, best support unit, and of course, the anime of the year. And before we start awarding, guys, let me just give you first a big fat D. It is not what you're thinking because that letter D is for disclaimer because most likely guys, we will all have different picks on every award. So just share your thoughts down in the comment section below. It is for free instead of arguing and you know, being toxic to each other. I mean, it's just not worth it guys as this video is made for entertainment. So don't take things personally. Also guys, it is worth mentioning that some of the best units that we are using up until to this date are not from 2021, just like Irwin. I'd also wanted to inform you that I didn't include the money units in game, particularly our favorite Bull Mama as, I mean, she will just be undefeated, guys. We might also have some honorable mention for this year's award night, just in case there will be two or more unit options that are really too hard to actually pick who will get the award. Also, take note guys that some of the awards might include their own orb as specific orbs only works in that unit anyway, so we will consider the orbs as part of the unit since getting orbs are not really that hard nowadays. Most importantly, some of the awards will be based on the peak usage or probably the peak hype of the unit rather than their current stats so that it will be fair for everyone, otherwise only units from the recent updates will win all of the awards. So now that everything is set guys, let us now start. <sighs> Presenting to all of you, Snow Squad, here's our 2021 Ulcer Tower Defense Unit Awards. Starting with the very first award of the night, that's going to be the best 4-star unit. And the best 4-star unit 2021 is none other than Goku GT. Goku GT on his 4-star version alone was already special thanks to his animation and also his stats. You guys know that I seldom showcase or even upgrade those new 4-star that we are getting for a single update, but for this Goku GT guy, I even showcase him because of, you know, how powerful he is for a 4-star at that time. That was nothing, however, when his orb arrived. The arrival of the moon orb really took the game over and if you guys even remember, we did the unthinkable and we actually accidentally reached the leaderboard by just using the golden monkey alone as our damage dealer. Having a Dragon Ball unit that is OP isn't really new on ASDD, but the way how Goku GT broke ASDD was a whole new level of greatness. For our next award, that will be the best semi-AOE unit. And the best semi-AOE unit 2021 goes to... Sasuke 6-star. We had Sasuke 5-star for so long that you guys might have already forgotten that his 5-star version even got a manual ability. 2021 was a roller coaster for all Naruto fans and the arrival of Sasuke 6-star was definitely one of many of its peak. Sasuke 6-star changed everything about a semi-AOE unit because of its range. I mean, it's just really superb. Even though the 6-star version of himself lost his ability to give black flames or, you know, burn those units, it was actually replaced by his ability to hit air units which made him a reliable defense unit and also monster one against everything. Moving on to the next award, that will be the best circle AoE unit. Definitely Conan will be an honorable mention for this award because of how good she was at her peak, especially as a 5-star, and she even became part of both story mode and infinite mode meta at that time. However guys, there's another unit in my opinion that had a bigger impact in the game because of how special the moment was, so the best circle AoE award goes to Naruto 6 star. Oh boy, Naruto fanboys might have even cried after the release of the most awaited unit on Ulster Tower Defense. It was such a very special moment for everyone, especially that every single Naruto fanboys at that time were already hopeless on getting a 6 star Naruto. Naruto didn't only get his own 6 star version though, but he went down as one of the deadliest ground unit meta up until to this day. 
The only takeaway about Naruto is his inability to hit air units, but hey, I mean, his circle AoE size, his range, and his SPA are just perfect for clearing the toughest mobs on the infinite mode. You guys know what's next, and that's gonna be the best full AoE unit. And the best full AoE unit 2021 goes to... None other than Light Yagami. Light Yagami is still the undefeated king in this category because of the abomination that he can cause, especially if you know how to properly use him. Grinding gems has never been easy thanks to his manual ability. Even from the start, 5-star Light Yagami has already been dominating this category and guess who can replace him? Well, a 6-star version of himself. And even though Light Yagami got some downtime because of the damage difference compared to those newer units, the developers seem to really love Light Yagami that they even gave him his own death orb just to keep his spot as one of the most special units in game and obviously, He's still the king of gem grinding. Like For our next award, that will be the best hill unit. And the best hill unit goes to... Mob Boy, Genos 5 Star. Genos has never been bad on ASTD, I'm not gonna lie. His 4 star version, if you guys can actually remember, was one of the best at its peak. That was even the early days of All Star Tower Defense. However, the arrival of his 5 star made him reach the legendary unit list. His SPA and also his upgrade cost made him very reliable in most of the game modes on ASTD. Whether it's story mode, challenge, trial, name it, Genos can deliver. In fact, by the time that I'm recording this video, I'm still using Genos alone to grind EXP in extreme mode. He was just that good, period. Going on to our next award, that's gonna be the best flex unit. But before we award this, let me just give you guys my honorable mentions and those will be Ryuk 6 star. He's basically a reskin of Light Yagami with a little bit of additional damage and I believe he is also a little bit cheaper than the original Light Yagami and also Aqua since there are only 2,000 of her existing in-game from the event. I also want to mention Eustace Kid since he's a secret unit at the moment by the time that I'm, you know, recording this video. Plus, he is not tradable but I think that he will be like Frankie in the future who will be tradable. But yeah, anyway, the best flex unit 2021 award goes to none other than Hashirama. Hashirama alone was a legendary character from its own anime, Naruto. But what makes it really a big flex in my opinion is it is a reward for reaching the leaderboard plus its animation was actually created by the owner of the game himself, Madao. It is pretty obvious that he put a good amount of effort on creating its animation but you know that's not everything because Hashirama can also give a bit of a stun to enemies both ground and air plus its range, damage, and the size of its circle AoE was really good by the time that he was released. It just sucks that I haven't really seen the Sage mode or the 6 star version. I'm not even sure guys if it's existing but yeah he's definitely the biggest flex unit for me. If there are units for flexing, of course, there are also units that are being frowned upon because of how bad they got clowned stats-wise here in All-Star Tower Defense. And the best clown unit 2021 is none other than... Oh my god, please do not hate me. But yeah, that's gonna be 6-star Sukuna. 6-star Sukuna on its arrival. Again, on its arrival, guys, was so bad that many Jujutsu Kaisen fans flooded the official Discord server of ASTD because of how bad he is. He was not even that easy to get at that time if I'm not mistaken. And because of that backlash, the developers buffed his damage, but it was just still not enough to even beat some of the monster 5-star units at the moment. I believe that Conan is one of them. And to address this issue guys, the developers were forced to buff him yet again by giving another upgrade, but it just made him a bit usable, if I may say, but still really bad for a 6-star unit. I mean, it's, it's just one of those 6-star units that are not really even worth getting at that time. 
On to our next award, that will be the best support unit. And again, guys, no money towers here. And of course, Urban will not be here because he's not from 2021. And for the honorable mention, of course, we have Blackbeard Six Star as he was the very first slowing unit that helped us to slow down ground units. And also Trafalgar Law as his manual ability made him part of the meta for infinite mode because of those pro people. But the award for the best support unit 2021 goes to Ichigo 6 star with his orb. The main reason why I chose Ichigo over Blackbeard 6 star guys is because of the fact that Ichigo took care of the biggest enemy on infinite mode runs and obviously those are those air units. Since the start of ASTD guys, air units are really really the reason why we can't really push further but with the arrival of Ichigo's orb, it instantly changed everything about the infinite mode and it indeed helped us to push further and reach higher waves. The impact of this orb is just so big, not only for Ichigo's Sixter, but it also unlocked many things that we thought impossible to do on the infinite mode, but became possible because of this buff that Ichigo's Sixter received. And for the last award, that's gonna be the anime of the year for ASTD. And this award definitely goes to... I think you guys already know it. Naruto. Naruto fans went through hell seeing their favorite anime characters getting clowned over and over again on All-Star Tower defense. And 2021 was such a big turning point for them. Takashi 6 star, Itachi 6 star, Naruto 6 star, Sasuke 6 star, Hashirama, and many more were the reason why Naruto fanboys can no longer be bullied thanks to their OP stats, sick animation, and of course the overall hype when they arrived in game. I think we can all agree with this that Naruto really dominated 2021 All Star Tower defense, and yep. I don't really see any anime that really can beat Naruto on 2021 ASTD. And that's it guys, that will wrap things up for our 2021 awards night. Again, I'm really sorry it's already late, but please do not be salty or mad about who won this and that because again, this video is just for fun. I would like to also see your own winners down in the comment section below guys. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Do not forget to leave a like and of course subscribe. Use star codes now whenever you're buying Robux. And yep, Happy New Year everyone. Stay cool guys. Peace out.